happen. It's been 12 days since the CDC endorsed Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for elementary school children. Local pharmacies tell us they've had a steady stream of patients. Hundreds more showed up to Riverstone's first kids-friendly clinic yesterday at Metro Park. But many still remain skeptical for a number of reasons. So our David J asked a physician if those concerns are valid. The CDC has recommended 28,000 5 to 11 year olds take the COVID-19 vaccine. A nationwide survey shows some parents are not getting their children vaccinated. We had a chance to talk with a doctor here in Billings who addressed some of those concerns. Some families have made the decision to have their children take the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. A Kaiser Family Foundation survey taken before the emergency use authorization shows about 27% would have their children vaccinated. That survey also shows other parents are very or somewhat concerned with long-term effects of the vaccine and about serious side effects. It's good to go through those things with your family doctor or with your pediatrician um, to understand. Unfortunately, this is a new vaccine. Um, and so we're learning about it, and we're not necessarily going to know what a lot of those things are. Dr. Garth Brand of Riverstone Health said at a vaccine clinic on Saturday that he recommends children get the COVID vaccine. We also asked him about another parental concern in the survey, their child's fertility in the future. People have been concerned about infertility, and there was a lot of worried about pregnant moms, about whether they should get it or not. Um, that has not been borne out, and that is not based on you know, data that has shown that any, there's any linkages there. Many have made entries on the vaccine adverse event reporting system. There's a lot of confusion about how those adverse events are reported. The CDC is going through and doing their due diligence and making sure that we're tracking the adverse events that we're seeing actively. There are definitely some adverse events, but in general, the vast majority of people do really well with the vaccine, they tolerate it well, and they're, they're going to be protected afterward, which is really important. In Billings, David J, MTN News.